All right. Hi, y'all. We are here to talk about my first paycheck of, I consider this the first paycheck of, um, what month is this? <laughs> of April, because the 26th is really close to the first and whatever paycheck covers my rent, that's considered like my first paycheck of the month. So here we go. Let's talk about it. Um, so we will have... My first paycheck will be in the amount of $1,875.56. And as we look at the bills of what I do have to pay, that will be our Richmond Utilities, which will, I budgeted $68. It will be $68. Our cell phone bill, I'm budgeting $75, um, but that's going to be taken care of um, by that gift card that I got back in regards to getting James his iPhone. So actual amount I'm having to pay out is zero. So that's saving us $75 for using that $250 gift card. Um, rent, I budgeted $810. As you guys know, I did have a credit of $80 and then sewer and water came out. So what's left after that and, you know, still having like 35 bucks still left over as a credit, I'm no longer paying in advance anything extra because of that little mishap. Um, so I'm only going to be paying $742.92. So that's a savings of $68.08. Next one up will be our Capital One large credit card. Now my bill is only like 40 something dollars, but I'm still putting $60 in there. Um, our Dominion Power, I actually thought my bill has gone up, <laughs> to be honest. It used to be like 80 something, then it was 114. Now it's at $141 for our Dominion Power, and that's being on a payment plan. So yeah, our payment plan over the course of the past couple of years have changed. So this is the highest it's been. And I will be putting $128 towards my school loan. Um, as we move down here, we have gas. I'm going to do $40 for gas. Allowance will be $50. And that's just for me. Um, groceries, I'm only putting $10 in. I know it may seem extreme, but it is not. I will tell you why in a future video. <laughs> uh, food out, we're actually going to put zero. Maintenance, we're going to start that back up. So that's going to be $25 for both me and Jamez. Dogs will actually be decreasing as well. There's a reason for that. <laughs> so that's going to be $10. Laundry will be $10. House items will actually be um, zero. Now I should have put $10 because, nope, you know what? I don't have to actually because I just went to um, CVS and I still did have to pay like $7 out of pocket. I forgot how those percent off coupons work. Is after the ECBs come off, which doesn't do right with my math. So anyways, I paid a little more out of pocket, but I still have money on my person. So yeah, I still put house items at zero. Outing will be 50 because we stay, still have to stay on track for that. And if you're interested in seeing how much we did put in there with using our coins... I will link it up right above here. Um, that was the previous video. And then fun. We're going to put $100 in there. So all together between the bills and the cash, that's going to be, I budgeted $1,641, but that will be um, $1,459.92. So that's pretty good. We're still saving some money. And uh, we're actually going to be going down to see a family member in a different state um, for like a week. Uh, so that's why like groceries is not getting as much. The dogs won't be getting as much. They already have food and I don't want to give them like treats because I don't know. Like if I switch up their treats and so forth, they tend to get sick. So I'm just going to hold off. They already have food and that's why I'm bringing their stuff down. So... 
let's talk about savings. So the 8.5% savings will be $136.24. And then what I have left over from here after we pay the bills and do our cash envelopes, that's going to be $415.65. And just as a reminder, back in March, I told myself I want to get to $30,000. Um, by my original goal was by the end of this year, but I said, you know what? I think I could do it by June, end of June. So I started a four month savings goal. So I did the math and what we still have left to save up. My plan was to save up $580 per month to reach that goal. Last month, we were short $402.93, so I said $402.93 short in March. So all together for April's goal, we have to meet $982.93. Will we get there? I hope so. We shall see. And let's go ahead and fill up these cash envelopes really quick here. Now for gas and my allowance, that goes straight into my debit card and then the gas goes into the credit card I use for purchasing gas. I don't pull out cash for that. So this should be $230. And I gave them this right here. So I know what categories will get what denominations, but they basically just look at that right there. So this should be 230. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, right, right, yeah, 150, 160, 170, 180. 190, 200, 1, 2, 3, 230. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and fill up this cash. And when I come back from our trip, I will, I have some mini cash envelopes already. Um, but I'm going to wait until I come back from this little trip and put the money in there afterwards. So let's start off. Most important to me is me and Jamez maintenance. So we're going to do 25 a piece. And if you guys don't know, we are starting back over from scratch for both of us. And then $25 for Jamez. Next up, we have groceries, which once again will be getting $10. We have groceries in the house. Um, and I just don't want to keep buying stuff as we're going to be out for like a week. Um... So I figured next paycheck, when we come back, we'll be able to use that stuff that's in the freezer as well as restuff our cash envelopes um, the week that we are coming back from our trip. Next one will be laundry. So that will be getting $10. Next will be house, and we're not putting anything in here. These are the this is for the dogs, and they will be getting a ten dollar bill. And this is food out, and that's getting zero. So the other things that we have left is, I do have to take this one out. Man, this one's getting kind of thick in here, ain't it? <laughs> this is 
this is our outing we have a trip coming up in may once again i can't wait to share that with y'all oh my goodness we're gonna have so much fun but this is getting the 50 dollars bill and um i can take this one out we can count this one together if you guys would like let's count that afterwards so that leaves us with 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 and that's going to just go into this one right here and um this is one of my faulty cash envelopes so i decided that i like to still use my faulty cash envelopes just for myself it's faulty because i would have wanted to cut the top so that it's not backwards the opening is right here so that's why this is considered one of my faulty ones and this will be for our trip so hopefully that covers some gas and some food. If it doesn't cover gas, at least cover food. It is quite a bit of a drive. <laughs> it's like a 12-hour drive, to be honest. Oh, my goodness. So let's see what we have in our, our um, outing cash envelope. So we have 100, 250. 70 90 and let's do 300 20 25 so 348 dollars so we still have like 90 something dollars left i do believe um yeah i think it's 90 dollars still left to save up well no after this one hold on let's update it so this is where i left off here from doing the coins that we turned in plus the eight dollars now as of today's date which is 3 24 21 we're depositing um fifty dollars deposit so that will be remaining only forty dollars left to save not too shabby i'm very happy about that um so yeah we may we may go over the 500 so i can do some more we could do some excursions while we're out there but i feel like either way we'll be all set um, I don't know how much the excursions cost, but we don't have to do them either. I do want to still stay within this $500 budget, but if I'm able to save up more, I will do that. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. I'll keep you guys posted. And really quick in regards to my savings, um, I want to stick with my goal to get to $30,000 first so that means by june or end of june and then after that i'm going to tackle paying off the car in a fast time frame within a year to a year and a half so i just want to i'm going to do one at a time i don't want to do two savings goals at once i think that's just too much for me to handle um and yeah i don't want to confuse myself <laughs> or get myself worked up over numbers so yeah that's what i plan on doing thank you guys for watching and yeah i will talk to you guys soon bye